Hi, Dr. Cohen here with Peak Performance Sports and Baseball-Yips.com. Do you ever wonder why you can throw really easily and freely in a practice setting, but then you go into a game and your control and your accuracy goes out the window? Well, today I'm going to talk about why that control and accuracy is not as good in games as it is in a practice setting. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So I'm asked all the time by ball players, why is it easy for me to throw freely when I'm in a practice setting, but in a game I start to tighten up? Well, possibly because you have the yips. Often what happens with the yips is you can throw freely when it doesn't count, when there's no pressure involved, when you're just playing toss with a teammate, for example, um, when you're not being observed by others when you're not worried about fans and what fans think. Once you go to a game and it starts to count, that's ultimately where the yips or the throwing yips start to rear their head uh, with ball players. What happens in that situation is when you're under a little bit of pressure or when you feel expectations to perform well for your teammates, to perform well for your coach, to perform well for your parents as well, that's when you start to tighten up and not make that free natural throw. So the mechanics behind it are you start to over control and go to more of what I call a safe throw. The safe throw, the mechanics are going to be looking a little bit different and you're going to get a little bit more trajectory, a little bit more blooping on the ball just so that you can get it to the target easier. Now, it's not the ideal way to do it, obviously, if you're a ball player. Uh, we see that all the time with catchers when they go to that safe throw and they bloop it back to the pitcher. So what changes in a game then are, number one, you're feeling expectations or pressure. Expectations equal pressure. That causes you to go, whoa, don't mess up. Don't make a mistake. Don't disappoint your teammates. Don't let down your teammates. And as soon as you're in that mode, then you start to over control your release. You start to over control the arm action. And what you think is doing the right thing by over controlling is actually the wrong thing in that state uh, because you're interfering with a well learned skill. Throwing is automatic for ball players, it's a well learned skill. As soon as you start to get in, into your head, and overthink the throwing, um, that's when you start to go to over control. But remember, the reason why you lose accuracy control is more out of the fear. The fear of failure, the fear of screwing up, the fear of disappointing a coach or your teammates. And that's why your control and your accuracy goes out the window. That leads you to over control. Hey, if you wanna find out more information about how to manage the yips, check out my website at baseball.yips.com and there you can download a free report titled Eight Mental Strategies for Overcoming the Yips in Baseball. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, please subscribe to my videos using the button on the upper hand right of this video. In addition, we have two related mental training videos for you to watch. And please jump over to my website at baseball-yips.com and download my free report, Eight Mental Game Strategies to Break the Yip Cycle.